Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today I'm going to do the update for Beauty Balance. This is kind of a hybrid project between a makeup rehab series and low buy series. You know, it's about keeping track of what is getting into your collection, what is leaving your collection. And I do have a beauty bank, so I am collecting points for the things I am using up and I'm reducing points for things I'm bringing in. I also have a monetary value on all of these products that I'm using up, so I get everything back that I've actually spent on the product, and that is the money that I can spend on new products. So without any further ado, we do have quite a few empties. And before I go through them and show them to you guys, I want to address three products that aren't here. One is the Bubble Bar from Lush. It doesn't have any packaging, so I can't show it to you because it's gone. Um, so I've used that one up. And then I forgot to bring home two products from Portugal when I was there. So that was one shampoo from The Rituals and one shower gel from Lush. Both of them were so close to being finished. I might have actually finished the the shower gel, but I think I had one shower left with the uh, with the shampoo. But I am going to count them as empties. However, I don't have the products with me here, so you can't see them. With that being said, here are all of the products that I've been emptying, and it's kind of a lot. And I'm figuring maybe I should take just a little bit of time and and divide this so that we can have all of the skincare, all of the makeup, and so on. So I'll just be doing a little bit of that first. <laughs> okay, now I've divided everything. So let's go through the makeup first. And I have so many makeup empties this month. It's crazy. I, I wasn't expecting that, actually. Um, oh, this was skincare. Never mind. First, I have two makeup removers. I am counting those as makeup since it is like in the makeup routine. I have to have them because I have makeup. You know, I wouldn't use them unless I use makeup. So we have the cleansing balm, Clean It Zero from the Vanilla Company. I have the micellar water from Ref Stockholm. A mini bronzer by Ciate London that I finished. I finished my very first eyeshadow palette. So if you want to see the progress on that, head over to my Panda palette series. I finished finally this little pencil, this eyebrow pencil. I'm so happy. Like those pencils, they last for a very long time. So if you want to bang for your buck, try pencils like lip pencils, brow pencils, not the retractable ones. They really go very fast. But if you want things to last, take those um, wooden pencils. They last for a very long time. I also used up this crayon here. This is a lip crayon. It's so tiny. I love this one. I will probably repurchase this one in the future, but not right now. I'm trying to, you know, reduce my numbers and go through what I have first. Then we have the Isadora Mineral Concealer that I've used up. This wasn't in any project. This was a really, really old product, so I really wanted to use it up, but I did not want it in my face. So I used it to kind of blend out my tan let's say where I have lines I could you know put it on the line so it kind of blended out more nicely so that's um yeah that's how I used it up I've also reached the half year mark on this um uh, this liquid eyeliner from Bang Beauty so I'm not going to use it anymore I'm trying to be good with that I have so many mascaras and eyeliners I really don't need to risk my eyes in order to use these a couple of months more you know it was a pretty good one but I'm glad it's gone. So uh, we also have the ZC lip gloss that I finished the other day. It's a really nice shade. I might repurchase this at some point or, you know, hope that I will get one in a ZC box. I only have one left though, so I will probably not receive it there, but maybe in the future I will go back to the ZC box or maybe I will make a purchase there when they have like a sale or something. Speaking of the eyeliner, Here's the mascara that's also reached its point where it should be thrown out. I've used it for six months and um, this was a waterproof mascara and this one I really feel like proud over because it feels pretty dried up now. Like I, I feel like I've used it so much that it's actually kind of an empty anyway. So that's nice. I also finished up another lip gloss or a lip service. I guess this was more like a lip oil maybe. 
This was from Laura Key and it was a really old product so I wanted to get this out of my collection as well. So I am happy. I'm very very happy about that. And the last makeup product I have is this Catrice Brow Mascara. I've been using this for like two years. Not every day. Not every day. But I really love this product and I do have a few more. Not from Catrice but I do have a few more mascaras like brow mascaras and I'm excited to use those. I really like them. They look very natural I think if you have the right shade because they just color your hairs instead of filling in the whole eyebrow. So if you want more coverage and you know filling in between your brows this might not be the product for you but a brow mascara is very nice if you want just to darken up your natural eyebrows. I also feel like it's a two-in-one because it's a gel as well as color so I really like it. And although I said that was the last makeup, I have three declutters. This is a nail polish remover and it's just not working. It's never really worked that well, but right now I I don't want it. And I have one from Makeup Makeup that I just dip my fingers into and it's so good. So I'm never going back to this. You know, if that one is an empty, I will buy it again. And this, you know, I will not touch it. I know that. I, I don't want to. This was the mascara I was going to use for the next six months, but it had already dried up before I opened it. So yeah, I didn't use it up. It is a declutter. I also have this Ultimate Stay Water Fresh Lip Tint. This looks like a really um, like brown color. Like it's really weird because it's not the color of this packaging. And I do have one of their other packaging and that matches the color. So I feel like maybe this has oxidized or, you know, gone bad, but at least it's not a color I want anyway. So I am decluttering these three products. Moving on to the hair section, I've only used up one product here, and that is this Batiste Dry Shampoo in the scent Cherry. I like it. I really like all the Batiste Dry Shampoos that I've tried. So it's something that I go back to all the time. I haven't tried too many of their like different scents. I often use the original, but um, yeah, it's really good. Next up, we have our body and shower products. We have a big hand soap that I managed to finish off, which is great. I have another shower gel from Lush. This was the Yucknog. I think this was the one that smelled like gingerbread. Very nice, very Christmassy. We have a body lotion. I'm always happy to finish one of those. And speaking of, we have another body butter leaving our collection. None of these smells almost anything, so not for me. I also have a body scrub from Sense and the Therapy Balm. And I realized that the Therapy Balm should have been with the fragrances. So let's talk about the only other fragrance I have, which is this mini perfume. This is the Women's Secret Intimate. It doesn't say where it's uh, from. If it isn't like Women's Secret, maybe that's the brand. I don't know. This might be from a glossy box. This might be from the real time calendar that I bought a year back. I don't know. But anyway, I used this up. This was an okay scent. I liked it, but not enough to repurchase. The final category is skincare. So I have like, I think six masks here. So let's go through them, shall we? We have a peel off mask here from Seventh Heaven. I had one from Chauvin's that was like a two in one mask. I had the Royal Vita mask from Dr. Sherpal. Another one from Seventh Heaven. This is the Jasmine peel off mask, cucumber. And then we have from Purederm, the Honey Essence mask. And then we have a handful of kind of sample sizes here. And one was the No Society Kind of Nice Face Moisturizer. I have the Dragon's Blood Sculpting Gel Rodial Day Cream as well. We have the Balance Me Face Oil. We have a little Origins Eye Cream. And then we have another serum from Philorga. And that was it. All in all, these were 36 products and I didn't bring anything in, so I'm not reducing any products, which means I am going from 111 points to 147 points in my beauty bank. These products that I used up also cost $119. So I'm bringing that back into my beauty bank, 
but I can also make money by hitting pans on things. So one pan is one dollar. And I'm not going to show you all of the pans. You can watch all of my uh, all of my projects for that. But I do want to show you one thing that I didn't have in any project that I hit pan on anyway. And that is my Hello Pretty Powder Foundation by Makeup Mecca in the shade Marshmallow. So I did hit a huge pan in this. And I've started to work on another powder foundation now for a while. At some point, I will, of course, try to use this up. So I get $1 for that. 10 Swedish crowns for the number of items that I hit pan on. I hit pan on 17 eyeshadows this month, which is crazy. Like I've never done that before. I've never hit 17 pans in one month. That is crazy. So 17 eyeshadows, two other products, and this was one of them. And then I finished two products within palette. So I get two additional dollars for that. So all in all, I have 18 pans and two like finished pants within palettes. So I get $20 extra, which means that I went from $711 to $850 approximately. I am so excited about this update. I am so excited to have finished 36 products, not bringing anything in. Like that is so good. And looking at all of the makeup empties, that is so exciting so exciting because makeup is the hardest thing to finish in my opinion and um, yeah it's just it's just a thrill to see how much i've actually finished so with that being said i hope you enjoyed this update and i will see you in the next one have a great evening bye